Hey guys and welcome to my channel Flame with a 4. In this video we are going to be doing issue 2 of Build the Ghostbusters Ecto-1. I can't wait to do this with you guys. I'm just going to quickly show you what you will be getting in this kit. We've already cut around the, the bottom and it's really exciting to see that you get so much in this build. So we are a subscriber so we will be getting uh, the extra added goodies. If you are doing it through the news agents you don't get um, the free stuff that comes with it but you will get your magazines probably a lot quicker than the subscribers but yeah I can't wait to get this I'm going to take this all out and then we're going to talk about putting it back together and then showing you what it looks like as an end result so I can't wait to do that with you so we're going to start now Okay guys, as you can see, there are a lot of pieces here for issue two. It's actually insane how many pieces are here. I will run through the list really quick. So you wanna have front grill, left side grill, right side grill, left grill strip, front grill strip, right grill strip, left headlight base, left headlight trim, left headlight reflector, left headlight lens, left headlight gasket, right headlight base, right headlight rim, right headlight reflector, right headlight lens, right headlight gasket, anti-collision strobe light frame left, anti-collision strobe light frame right, anti-collision strobe light lens and collision strobe light bulb. Um, you need to have four different types of screws, 1.7 by 5 millimeter, 1.5 by 4 millimeter, and two times 10 millimeters, 10 millimeter, and 1.7 times 4 millimeter. We're going to crack on and get this built because this is, uh, you've got so many pieces here. This is like a, a lot for one issue. Um, I know sometimes we're like, okay, well, there's not a lot for this issue, but this is quite overwhelming uh, how much is here. Um, but it, it's cool. We're going to do it. We're going to build it up and we're going to see how it goes together. So the first thing it's asking us to do is to install this front chrome section into the front grille here. So we're just going to place that in. It wants us to have the two... Um, the two holes either side. I'm just going to see how well this fits in. So everything should everything is mass produced. So you got to imagine that you know you want it to fit in really well. So it's asking us to make sure. So here we go. So this needs to be at the bottom, like that, and this needs to go around that way. So we had it around the wrong way. So there you go. So that's as easy as it can go um, wrong. So we'll just put in install that. So you want to make sure that piece is at the bottom, and then you want to make sure the two holes for the top of the grill, two holes there, two holes there are at the top, like so. Okay. So we're just going to carry on, and we're going to put them, pop the screws in. Okay. So we'll fast forward through that. Okay, guys. So once you have done that piece, you should have something that looks like this. Like I said already, you need to make sure that the bottom little cutout tab here is at the bottom. And you need to make sure that the holes are there and there. I'm not sure if you can see the holes, but there you go. So there and there and here and there. And then you want to make sure you've screwed it in behind there. And that is with using the AP screws. So AP screw goes into that section here, in the middle and into the side just there. Okay. All right, so once you have done that section here, it wants you to put the left side, so the left side will go on this side with it facing up with the two um, dots up there that joins onto there. You put an AP screw into here and then you turn it around this way and then two AP screws in there. So once you've done that, we will now need to move on to the next section, okay guys? So there you go, that little AP screw is now just in that top corner there, as you can see. This is pl all plastic, none of this is metal, this is all just a plastic grill, so careful when holding on to this not to scratch it in any way. It's really flimsy, so when I'm tightening things up, I'm being careful not to squeeze this really tight and to damage it, because obviously that is going to be quite bad. I mean, most builds, this would probably already come on that piece but this is like got so many fiddly bits uh, it's definitely a lot more fiddly um, than most of the builds that I've done before so just be just uh, bear that in mind okay guys when you're building this so we're gonna now attach these little fins on we'll just build it and then we'll show you how we've done it okay so on this section here 
you want to make sure that that piece is parallel or triangular downwards like that as you can see and, and it fits into that section there. It is held in here by two BP screws so one here and there and they are silver to go with it uh, and you should have it looking like that at the side there so just follows that grill along and then goes up at an angle. Uh, it was a bit fiddly to do we're going to crack on and do the other side and then we'll come back in a sec. So there you go guys, that's now the other side done. So that just fits into that section there. Also goes down at an angle here. Is attached by two BP screws just under there like that. So then the grill section should start to look like this. So looking really nice, really good. So obviously these two take a while, which is why we fast forward through the screws. I have got the screws all labeled up here on the bags just to make sure that everything is in place. But remember guys, don't need to rush this and try and get this done really quickly because the part build is here for you to build it in your own leisure, your own time, and just to like build it up so it's all smart for you um, and to do it at your, you know, at your convenience really. So just remember that when you're building, building something like this, okay? Right, so it is now saying for us to take figure A, which is these little pieces here, and we need to be popping through a little clear LED like this. It's probably going to be impossible to see, but it's just there in the middle of my hand. That has got to go up into that hole there. I don't know whether we need to push it in place or whether it's just supposed to just sit there. But yeah, with a little bit of a push, it's absolutely fine. And then it's asking us to cover that over with this also another clear um, plate. So we'll just, there's probably a little cutout on this, but we'll pop it on and have a look. Like so, so there you go. So, ooh, dropped it. There you go, so it should look like that. It's quite hard to see. I hope my fat um, we can focus on that, but the little LED is just at the bottom and then that is held on like that. So we need to do that the other side as well. So we'll quickly uh, whack one of these together because we will be able to do that quite quickly. Now we know how to do it. So do that, push it down a little bit, just to keep it into place. There we go, because it should be sticking through. And then we just want to pop the cap on top like so. There you go. So just show you again, it's quite hard to see, but it's just there. I'm going to push that LED through a bit more because it's not as through as much as the other one. There you go. So make sure you just push it through with something because that LED should push right through. Okay, so now it's asking us to just put it on top of here where the two holes are. And we will then be um, putting that down and then screwing that with two of the BP screws. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then show you what it looks like afterwards. So there we are guys, just to make sure you don't have this wrong and hopefully my camera focuses, you can see that the bottom here have like a kind of a teardrop finish here. So they should just lip over the front of the chrome bumper part of the grill there. And then the same on this side with the two BP screws, one there and then one there and one there. That is where they're supposed to go. They look really good, nice detail there. I'm loving how much intricacy is going into this build uh, because it's just so fun to do because there's so much of it to do. Uh, it's better than it just being really boring. So the next thing we've got to do is make up the lights and then once we've done that, we've got to attach them. These bits are quite heavy, they're metal, so that's really good. I'm really happy that uh, there are some bits here that are metal, so that's always a bonus. So it's telling us to use this is the left and right figure, so we need to just put these together and we'll just see if we can do those before we carry on. So figure A will be uh, one of these. So this is figure A, which is that section there. And then we need to have the other O2K, which is the other chrome section. That just needs to go over the top of figure A. So I'm just going to slide that over the top if it goes over nicely, hopefully. We need, it, don't, it doesn't actually say on it whether it, oh it says L, so we wanna make sure everything's L. So that this should be left, 
This should also be left. Let's just double check, see if this is anything written on this. To assume that it's L, we'll just be able to tell just by looking at it. So that says R, so yeah, so this is L. So this should um, go on to this as well. So we're just gonna have to probably line it up. There might be some paint on here, but we will we'll see. We'll line it up nicely and try and get it in there. We don't wanna break it at this stage because it is very flimsy. Okay, so that just slides over the top there. So that, that is that section there. The chrome section slides over onto those two pins here. So that's that bit. And then you want to go with your lens. I'm just going to see if that says R. So yeah, that's that's got R written on it as well. So make sure you check your pieces. Your pieces will say where they go. Then the lens goes over like that. So the lens slides over the top and then we'll look like that from the other side. And then it's telling us to put in the chrome light bits. So it's saying for us to put those in, um, right, so yeah, so it's saying to do that, um, to do the lens and then to do the chrome sections. It's saying to have the chrome section and then we need to make sure we've got the right one again. So this one doesn't say on it or does it? Or can you not get these bits wrong? So that says R, so again, they do have them written on, so make sure you check that. That then needs to go over the top like that. There, so you wanna make sure that the domed bits are at the top like that. And then this is all gonna fit into this section. So you wanna make sure that that all slides into there nicely and goes into them pins. So that feels really nice, real nice fit there. And then you should have a light that's all together like that. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly screw this together. We're gonna to go make the other one because you've now seen how to do it. It will just be the same the other way around and we'll show you what this looks like finished, okay? Okay guys, as you can see here, these are the two lights complete. This one says R and this one says L for left and right. So there you go, so that's what they'll look like complete. They look really good. So much detail gone into these. In the center there, you want to make sure you've got your CP long screw going through there. And then just at the top to here, they will take the AP screws. So you just copy that and do it the same. Check your pieces, all your pieces should be labeled up so you shouldn't get it wrong. But look how fantastic those lights are. So much detail in these. The next thing we've got to do is mount them onto the top of this grill here or the bumper. Uh, and then we will just do that. So what it's asking us to do is uh, check which one says, so this one says R, so that's right. That will just sit just on there like that and then we just got to attach it. So what we're gonna do is gonna attach this one and that one and then we'll come back to that one we're finished. Right guys, so this is the end result of this issue too. And look how amazing and fantastic this is looking. So just remember guys, that when you're putting this metal piece onto this plastic frame here and you're putting through those uh, BM screws. So there's, you can see the black BM screws there. There's one there and then one there. So there's two on each side. Be careful, if you're going from plastic to metal, be careful not to do it or over tighten them just because you don't want to go and ruin what you have done there. So I just wanna just show this off. We're just gonna just sit that back, show that off there. Look how absolutely fantastic that is. It just looks really, really nice. So there you go. So that's what you should have your model looking like so far on issue two. If you're like me, you just wanna just keep building and building and building, but you know what? It's just exciting getting the issues through, knowing that you get to just chill, sit down, uh, or just stand up in my case, and build this to your heart's content because it's just absolutely amazing. Again, you um, you don't have any pieces left over like you do in issue one, but you, you will have to keep this somewhere safe because we're obviously gonna keep building on top of this. And let's see what it tells us we're gonna be looking forward to in issue three. What I wanna do is I don't wanna ruin it too much. It's just about practical magic and stuff like that. I don't want to ruin all that for you because it's showing a bit about props and movie stuff but it looks like we get so much again in issue three and that is fantastic and I cannot wait to do that so let's show you what we're going to get in issue three so I don't know whether it tells us what comes in there 
Um, builds the iconic Ecto-1 car from the Ghostbusters. It doesn't say the parts list, but there is quite a bit. So there you go. So that is what we're going to be expecting to see in issue three. I cannot wait to do this with you guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done already, please press subscribe. Please set the bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And thanks very much for watching and see you real soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.